Hello and welcome to the fourth episode in our series on multiple sclerosis. In the previous episodes, we understood the definition and symptoms of the disease. We also understood the causes, risk factors and prevalence of the disease. We dealt in detail about the diagnosis aspect of the disease. Now the next most important question is, how is this disease treated? How do we manage the patient? Let us pose these questions to our expert. In neurological disease, there are only few conditions which can be cured. And this is definitely not something which can be cured, but the next best to cure is controlled. And I think MS is one of the conditions which can be very well controlled with medications and that is very, very important. So MS is not curable, but definitely controlled with medications. But a lot of research is just happening to see that whether there can be some medications which can come up which can be cured. But that they are in the pipeline. Basically, whenever the diagnosis of multiple sclerosis is done, there is an attack or neurological symptoms which are there, which are controlled with steroids. And either it is given as an injectable or an oral medication. But that is only for a short duration of time, either for few weeks or few months. But for the long term, we need to give other medications that is to prevent the occurrence of further episodes. And for that, we use something called as disease modifying agents, which can be either again in the form of injectables or steroids. The doctor decides as to which is best for you, depending on the severity of your illness, as well as what does your uh, investigations show and the treatment is given. So as I said, apart from the steroids, we have other medications for maintenance therapy that is to prevent the occurrence of episodes and they are called as disease modifying agents which can be either injectables or orals which are decided by your doctor. Apart from this again we have something called as symptomatic therapy that is if you have difficulty in walking because your limbs are stiff then the doctor gives you medications so that the stiffness comes down. If you are having problem with urination the doctor gives you medication so that you can control your bladder better. S depending on symptoms the other medications are given which are called as symptomatic therapies. So we have steroids in the acute period, then we have disease modifying agents to prevent your attacks. The third is the symptomatic therapy depending on your symptoms and uh, this could even be for your symptoms of anxiety, behavior, urination, stiffness, etc. Plasma therapy is actually used in conditions more in MS mimics. It was being used for multiple sclerosis previously basically because it was thought that whenever the symptoms of MS is severe, it needs to wash out few bad antibodies which are present in the blood and that is the reason for using plasma therapy. So plasma therapy what it does is it tries to remove few of the bad antibodies which are present in your blood and retain your good cells so that there is no loss of any constituents of your blood. It is not much used except in few aggressive types of multiple sclerosis. This question is very very important because these are complementary and alternative. So that is important to understand. So your basic treatment is always the disease modifying agents which has to be taken. That is the foremost. It is like when you are eating curd rice. Your curd rice, the rice and the curds are the important ones which are the disease modifying agents. The pickle which you add is just for the taste. So similarly, the complementary and alternative therapies are complementary to the disease modifying agents. But remember, they are not the only treatment to be given because we see many patients just taking the alternative therapy and not taking the disease modifying agents. So now coming to what are the alternative therapies which are there, it is known that MS is triggered by stress. So it is important to control the symptoms of stress and that is done by yoga, meditation and little bit of Ayurveda also is being started but definitely yoga and meditation is one of the most crucial important factor in trying to relieve the stress so that your MS attacks are not 
triggered. Multiple sclerosis is one of the neurological conditions where a lot of research is done almost all levels, molecular, diagnosis, treatment, prevention, you name it, there is research. But what I would want to tell, especially for a person with MS who is having the two most uh, recent and the two most important research being done is, one is medications. A lot of research being done in trying to see that we come up with more better medications so that the MS is becomes more of a almost controlled disease than uh, just a controlled illness. The second is the biomarker. Biomarker means we are trying to see some molecules which we can diagnose so that we predict the onset or predict the aggressive form of MS so that we can adjust the medications better. So these are the few things which I would tell but definitely not sideline the other research which are being done in the field of MS. This concludes the fourth episode in our series on multiple sclerosis. In this episode, we dealt in detail about the treatment and management of patients with MS. We will be back with our next episode. Namaste.